that certainly could be a big problem a day before the 4th of July, and this could be a lengthy process. These cranes arrived just about 7.30 this evening here at Surf Avenue. As you can see behind me, they're still getting set up. The goal is to dismantle the top portion of this tower. During the last 48 hours, this tower has been swaying much more than normal after extensive talks with the city buildings department. The owner of this tower decided it's best that they destroy a portion of this tower in order to reopen the rest of the amusements here. Two giant cranes rolled down Dewey Albert Place with plans to take apart a piece of Coney Island history. They were trailed by five flatbeds to provide support as a small crowd gathered at the intersection of Surf Avenue. And my daughter was able to ride it when she was back in 2008. She actually got the last ride on it with my mother. Oh, yeah. So we took the last ride on the Astro Tower. Eric Knapp, among those with fond memories of the Astro Tower, it has stood 270 feet tall above the boardwalk since 1964. But in the last four 48 hours it started to sway, creating a dangerous scenario, forcing the owners to dismantle a portion of it. Today, you don't like to see the tower come down, but for many years it has been neglected and it needs to be taken down. It survived Sandy. I mean, they're, they're doing the right thing. It was swaying, so they, they want to make sure. Plus, they, want, they don't want to lose the revenue for Astral Land and the Cyclone. Concerns the observation tower could break and topple over led officials to tape off the block and boardwalk for much of Luna Park. The famous Cyclone Roller Coaster and nearby Wonder Wheel among the attractions closed down, a burden for tourists and business owners nearby. They tell me I had to bring in the everything I have in the front of Game World because um, the tower might fall or something. They kill in our business because we expect them to make a lot of money. Sometimes you need to do what you gotta do because God forbid it does fall on 4th of July, then what's gonna happen with the people? Oh, they should have closed it, but... You know, it's sad. The nearly 50-year-old landmark is known to shift in the wind, but it's possible the recent removal of the observation deck, normally located near the top, caused it to move more than normal. Many agree taking it down is the right move. I guess they figured better safe than sorry, which is smart. And again, taking a live look here.